What's up party people? Welcome back to another video and I have been having so much fun playing Discipline Priest and hope you guys have. I've been having a blast, some may say. A mind blast. Alright, uh, well today we are going to talk about Discipline Priest talent builds. There have been so many different builds um, from myself playing them. I feel like I change it every single day. I did some research on the ladder looking at other people's builds. It looks like almost everybody plays something different. I could not find two people, two consecutive players at uh, a higher rating that like they would run the same build. So big takeaway from this is, you know, be creative, find what works for you. There are so many different play styles from playing Shadow Covenant to playing um, just full offense, no radiance, no powered life. Defensive options that you do play power of life, radiance, you play, you don't even play solace, you just play max mana, do big heals, um, and that's perfectly fine as well. So it's kind of whatever you want to, um, kind of how you ever you like to play, because there's so much variety in a lot of these builds. So I want to show you guys a few builds that I just found. Um, a few of these that I, I think like three of these are ones that I've been interchangeably using, um, and then I found another three extra ones that uh, may be useful for you guys. You can kind of rip off them, and you know, feel free to customize all of them, obviously. Uh, you know, to fit your liking and then just to get a side note with the with the class tree really don't be set in stone on um, The exact talents, you know, these are always going to be dependent on the the comp matchups and stuff like that You know from getting rid of and not using needing MD maybe going MC sometimes um, Going into short fade uh, This just like it's so interchangeable. So don't get set in stone on the class tree side um, The spec tree side obviously you, if you go with that build you're probably gonna be sticking with them so I'll have the links to these builds down below, guys, just to give you guys some ideas. Hope you guys enjoy and get something out of it. So let's get into it. First build here, this is actually my current favorite one so far that I've been playing. Um, it is a DPS-based build that also has Radiance, okay? So it's not absolutely everything, so I'd be running Ultimate Radiance here. Um, I'm running, you know, uh, not running Shadow Covenant. The reason I wasn't running Shadow Covenant, it was like really clunky to kind of best utilize Twilight Equilibrium. Um, and I don't know why I just kept overthinking whenever I press Shadow Covenant. Um, I was just super overthinking like what ability, what ability to press next. Um, it does always feel really awkward when to press Shadow Covenant sometimes. If you played Long Covenant, it wasn't that bad because you kind of just press it, press it prior. Um, but I don't know. I just felt a little weird for me to play. So um, I actually was really enjoying playing without it. But I do have all the DPS talents down here from you know Blaze of Light, Wheel and Woe, Harshest to Plin, Twilight Equilibrium, Expiation. Uh, big mind games as well and void shift so mostly focusing on damage and with this build you definitely want to be playing offensive and every time you're not playing power of life um, this whole tree down here or Aegis of wrath you're healing you want to get as maximized your tome and healing as much as possible um, so just kind of full thrusting it uh, but yeah this is the build that i've been playing with that so if there's something you're interested in that'd be a good balance for that so this one is basically the same build here next one this is one that um actually Gorecki plays he plays just full thrust offense man i'm i've been trying to practice it as well but i get it, it's really i think it's just it gets harder at the uh, you know granted obviously he's doing it better than myself but like it is hard to do when you're at a lower rating man if your teammates are not playing well defensively whether it be kiting or cooldown utilization or peeling you fall off really fast but if your teammates you know like at that level because i watch him play it and um at that level when your teammates are doing everything right like that it just opens up the possibility for you to just play even more offensive and do damage you spend less time trying to save your team um and more time just doing damage and you get that momentum going the snowball effect and uh, it does wonders so I'm, I'm still practicing this um i, I i'm hoping to Hopefully I can get it to work at some point, but um, I've just been really struggling with some of the solo shovel games. If you guys are watching on the stream, like I'm just going up and down, up and down, because there's always just one person going 0 and 6 or, you know, getting doing something weird, right? I'm sure you guys can uh, relate to that. So that's that build. So mostly offense once again. So this next one here is a full, full offense Shadow Covenant build that I, um, so this is the only big difference in this one is now we have Shadow Covenant as well. So these are three di basically DPS base builds, and then you're gonna have like three more healing base builds. So this third one here is gonna be, we're getting rid of Painful Punishment, getting rid of uh, Exhalation compared to the last one. We have no Radiance. Uh, we're gonna play Shadow Covenant and Extended Shadow Covenant. You can opt to go for Big pe uh, big Covenant if you'd like to try to go for like big one shots. Um, but I was actually enjoying just playing, um, you know, uh, long covenant to get double uh, double the dark armaments in there 
So full offense. This is definitely gonna be one you struggle with healing wise, but you can actually do some really crazy damage with it in twos. This is one I've been playing in twos. Oh, thanks, Blizzard. Um, and then also just a side note, because I know people have been asking a lot about uh, mind bender builds. Though I think you might be able to make a mind bender build work. I don't think it's optimal, just because games are too short. Um, I know, like, because I'm pretty sure that's it's a pretty popular thing even in PVE and stuff like that. Um, mind bender is a one minute cooldown. Shadow Shadow Fiend is a three minute cooldown. Okay, Shadow Fiend is just a stronger version, longer cooldown. Almost every game is a minute long. Like I could probably even go down here. How long are these games? 125, 146. That's almost a three minute game, but 120, two, two. Uh, most games are gonna be like one minute. This was a longer, oh, what is going on? Um, it's gonna be longer games, so I don't really think you're gonna get much use out of Mindbender um, in those situations. So, but if, if it is a preference for you, yeah, go for it, give it a shot. Um, I, I found like those other talents between like Expiation, Harsh Discipline, Wheel and Woe, Twilight, uh, Equilibrium, those other bottom DPS talents, just to be a lot more useful. Looks like everyone's getting DC'd here. Um, to be a lot more useful in terms of DPS. So let's go move on to some healing builds here. Okay, so this build here is going to be a full healing, more defensive, concerned about mana build, okay? So on this, from the Clash Tree side, we're now we're taking powered life. We have Angelic Bulwark. We still keep mind games just for that, the pressure of mind games itself. Um, you know, and you and I obviously again some of this stuff is interchangeable between you know improved MD and move with grace, all that kind of stuff. And then on the Dispriest side, we have Aegis of Wrath, Wheel and Woe. Still want to stick with Wheel and Woe. Wheel and Woe is an offense and defensive thing. You can either use it to make give you big power word solaces, um, or you get big shields from it. And in this case, we're not you're not running power word solace. You're playing shield discipline. Um, and that's going to be buffing with but both of these on top. And then once you get your four set too, your shields are going to be monstrous. This was a build. Um, I think both uh, Absurge and Sidu had a very similar one in terms of their threes build. Not solo shuffle, threes build. Um, because threes, you're going to get a lot more concerned about mana. Um, odds are in solo shuffle, you're not going to be concerned with mana most games. But in threes, you definitely will be. Um, so this is just a kind of, this is a build that's very defensive. You're not, you're not worried about anything else offensively, Twilight Caribbean, Expiation, anything like that. Just full healing, basically. Um, so this is that'll be an option for you if you want to play that. When it comes to PvP talents, I forgot to mention, um, you know, old, if you have Radiance, you obviously have to run Ultimate Radiance. If you're not running Radiance, typically I'll run Eternal Rest. There are options to run Thought Steal as well. I maybe replace Catharsis with. Um, there's also games where I don't run. Um, I don't, I'm not getting trained, so why run Catharsis? So I'll run Dark Arc or Eternal Rest, or um, you can even run Thought Steal for certain comps as well. Um, get especially against mages. All right, next one here. This is going to be a healing build plus Shadow Covenant. All right, so it'll be a little bit different here. So this is if, if you do enjoy, if you are a Shadow Covenant enjoyer, but you also want to play a little, you want to be able to heal a little bit more. Um, so this is a build that's very similar to my DPS Shadow Covenant build. Um, yeah, this build, hold on. This build should have mind games in it if you're going to play Shadow Covenant. Um, yeah, because we want the Shadow Covenant and healing on this. So this build we got, we have uh, some of the healing talents over here going into Light Spiration just for more self-sustained healing, Power Life, Desperate Prayer. So there's a lot of self-sustained. If you're getting trained down, this is an option for you. Um, and you can even stop some of the talents to improve fate as well. But another option here, give you Shadow Covenant plus Radiance, more healing on that. And then finally, another option for... Um, which I'm gonna call it the Shadow Covenant with more healing on it as well. Okay, so this is a talent build that you're gonna have powered life, you're gonna have void shift and spell bulwark, but you're still gonna have Shadow Covenant and go for big Aegis of Wrath. This build's not gonna have the damage. Again, you're not playing Solace, so you're gonna have shield discipline, focus more on mana. Um, this was a very interesting build I found. Um, this might be a PV build now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> this might actually. A PVM because the fact that they're playing not they're not playing void tendrils on that. Uh, but anyway, maybe this one is actually more a PV. What up? Regardless, this 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 is something that I could see working. I feel like Blaze of Light might be pretty important, but if you're not playing Solace, maybe you're not playing Solace, maybe you don't need it. This was uh, I think I, this is a build I got on uh, from someone one of the top players in Solo Shuffle. I just thought it was an interesting one. That's why I picked it. 
Um, but yeah, this one looks nice. So this is giving you an option a lot more uh, It gives you some defensive options as well But you still have shadow covenant and some damage. So this is what I'm saying man Like I, I don't even I don't know where these guys heads are at I mean, they're all kind of do we're all everyone seems like to be they're doing their own thing Which is awesome. This is the point of the talent trees. You know when I was playing druid you never I never really saw shit like this um, People did so much variety in builds um, drastic variety in builds so um, I made all that. I just want to make this video for you guys, just to guys give you some options um, and maybe some stuff to customize. So you know, find which one that you kind of play style that kind of fits your self, and then maybe I'll customize a little bit, have some fun with it, and then you know, I enjoy it. So uh, that's all we got for this, guys. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.